Hi everyone, my name is Nufar from SAP Business One Product Management Team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add link ties to the Business One web client application. Link ties, like other extensions, are located in the Extension tab. Let's go to the Extension tab. Here you can find all the extensions that exist in the system. The ties can be defined to be open in a new window or in the existing window. In our case, we have two ties. The first one will be open in a new window. And the second tie will be open in the same window. Great. Now let's create those tiles together. Let's go to the Visual Studio Code. Note that before creating your Mesha project, there are some preconditions. You can find all the details in the online help. Let's go back. So in our workspace name URL Mesha project, I will create new folder, name URL link. This folder will contain a file name web client extension dot JSON. This file will contain all the ties details. In our case, we will create two ties. The first tile will be tie01. The subtile will be subtile01. The URL will be the desired link. The link method will be one of the two options. The first one is open in a new window and the second one open in existing window. I will choose the first option. And icon. Let's fill in the next tile. Tile 02. Sub tile 02. The desired link. The link method will be now the second option and the icon. Let's create another file in our workspace name mta.yaml. This file will contain all the extension details, the scheme version, the ID, the name of the extension, in my case, my extension, URL meshup, the version, provider, module name, module type will be URL meshup, and the module path. That should be the URL meshup project path from the root of your workspace folder. In our case, URL link. Let's save it and package it. Great, as you can see, a new folder named MTA Archives was created. Now let's upload our extension to the Extension Manager. I will log in. And we'll import my extension. Here is the MTAR. Let's upload it. Next and finish. Now I will assign this extension to specific company. This is the extension. Let's click next and finish. Great. Let's go to the Business One web client application and refresh the page. As you can see, those are the ties that we created together. Oh, now it will be easier for you to create a link tile. Thanks.